So, hi everyone. I'm super excited to be here. I'm uh, the founder and um, the CEO of blockchain.art. And um, I've been in this space uh, of the art for my entire career. And basically for my entire career, I was interested in digital arts and really how to help artists succeed and actually get some traction, really sell, collect, gain collectors and really build an audience. So in about 2019, I learned of NFTs and started to shop the idea around my industry, the art industry. And talking back then to just what you heard, to art fairs, to galleries, they were like, hey, Christina, we've been trying to sell digital art for the last 30 years, 20 years. Are you really sure it's going to work? Well, and now we're in 2021, and we are at the NFT conference. So what I'm building, I'm taking my experience of the last 20 years in that industry. And for the last 10 years, I've been building marketplaces. I was the CEO uh, of uh, two different art fairs, global art fairs. And I took that experience and put it in creating a solution, e-commerce solution for galleries and intermediaries in the NFT space. I will talk you through it. So... Um, well, here's my clicker. It's not working. Mm. Well, here we go. Here. So, as I said, I started to shop around the idea in 2019. I said, well, you will be excited. You will actually get to sell digital art. You artists and you galleries. And it took them a while. It basically took till spring of this year when they see the, saw the exciting Beeple sale happen. And as I'm writing it down, is very soon all galleries and there alone 19,000 in the US will be selling NFTs. And um, let me show you. So the current um, landscape, and I really want to explain why an intermediary is actually relevant, right? So we saw the splash that NFTs made uh, throughout the year and the liberation of the artists, and artists can actually sell and list an NFT um, on a marketplace. Fast forward now to fall this year, we saw, and a lot of artists come to me and say, well, I tried basically go without an intermediary. I was trying, I... Um, put it up on any of the marketplaces, but I didn't succeed. And I would like to actually get some help. I want to bring my existing uh, relationship that I have with my gallery, my agent, or anyone that I work with on chain. And this is exactly uh, where we are helping. And um, artists, not everyone is super good in communication or running a Discord channel. They want additional help. And it's, um, I have a lot of artists that have been producing digital work for the last 10, five years, but they are not really well versed in crypto yet. So they want to bring in influencers or friends of theirs and really do collaborative work. And this is where we come in and um, help them to set up that service. We... Um, basically set up a very easy to use app. You can find it on blockchain.art. We onboard the intermediary. Is it an, um, is it an influencer, a gallery, or a museum? These um, intermediaries onboard an artist and then create a hyperlink. They can link it and post it to our marketplace, or they can hyperlink it to their own uh, websites. Really build a following on that account. So, and um, again, so, and, and what my colleague said before and Kevin McCoy said, well, you have to really think, and there's a new audience that was created through crypto and through the current NFT trade. But you actually have to think there's a huge audience for your creations already out there. When we are thinking there are 55,000 museums worldwide, 
and they are really looking for new content, new creative ideas. So an intermediary with that regard, someone who has walls, and there are new and new um, projects in that space of using physical spaces to show NFTs and really starting to live together with digital creations. So there's an old audience for you as well to be served. And um, as I mentioned before, in the, in the US alone, there are 19,000 galleries and everything ranges from pure digital to sort of antiquities and physical objects. And, and for all of them, the use of NFT will start to make sense at some point, either as a certificate or really as the sale of a digital work. And um, I will show you more statistics, yeah. So if you look at what the established art industry, when we talk about uh, primary and secondary sales in the field of arts, in 2020 actually generated, it was 50 billion USD. And again, what did the intermediary do? They are actually accumulated and facilitated more than half of these sales. So you out there, creators, and people that spin up projects, really do not forget about them. Those are people that have established communities that will also bring established collectors to your work and generate basically followers throughout further periods. And this is very significant for new works and old works. And um, yeah, so this is uh, what we are doing. I will show you. So we are currently uh, live with our beta and um, in 2021, as I said, it was, it took this year really to get everyone excited about NFTs. We're live with our beta. We've been testing uh, with our onboarded galleries. And currently we have more than 300 galleries in the pipeline that we are onboarding right now. And we're talking to museums and we're trying to help them really make a case and implement NFTs where it's relevant. And the conversation goes from uh, a stable price from a set price to an auction. And also just to give you a, a perspective of artists that have been dealing uh, in the digital world uh, before or digital files. So an auction might not always be the best way how to sell their work. So they're really trying, um, trying different ways how to stay with one foot in the old world, really cater to their existing clients, to people that have been following and buying them, and also engage with crypto and new ways of selling art. Um, so as I said before, we have a really easy way to onboard galleries and their artists. You do not have to be a proficient in um, setting up a crypto wallet. We have a custodial wallet that we work with. And you can choose basically to hyperlink it to your own shop, to your own interface, or also post it uh, on our marketplace. Um, what we do um, right now is uh, we work with Stripe. So we work with Stripe in the, in the primary sales. The galleries that we onboard, they just use their Stripe account. It's very easy, it's very transparent. They're used to it. So they're making the first steps um, in that department. Going forward from December onwards, we'll be uh, also accepting crypto payments. We're really excited about that. Artists are pushing for that. And also, uh, what's great, also galleries want to be able to accept cryptos very fast. Um, yeah, we are, as I said, we are uh, handling the, the wallet, uh, the custodial wallet on behalf of the clients, uh, just to make it really easy and really comfortable for everyone to use and to collect NFTs. We have our own secondary marketplace where collectors of that work can also post it and sell it either privately or set it up for auction. Um, we are uh, in the Kusama network. We are part of the Polkadot environment, uh, which is an um, ecologically friendly solution. As you know, the art industry pledged collectively to go carbon neutral uh, and or to go carbon negative. So this was the, our motivation for that choice to go on Polkadot. And actually we're working on our own blockchain. So really to make it further, we're really seeing a big future for NFTs uh, on the blockchain and to enable other creators and other builders to build our, on our own blockchain. Um, 
this is my team, this is my community team. So if you want to um, meet us, you can find us on Discord, you can find us uh, on Instagram, or you can find us through other social media. Please hit me up if you have questions. I would love to talk and really make it really easy for everyone who is in the trading business to onboard and sell NFTs. Thank you.